Today I am going to be doing my eyebrow routine and I know I look a little silly right now but whatevs, I, I look fab right I hope. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing my eyebrow routine and I've really been wanting to do this video like I feel like I'm so happy with my eyebrows right now. I used to not even care about my eyebrows, I was like who the heck cares about eyebrows like it's all about the makeup, like other parts of your face, but no girl, um, the eyebrow really makes a huge difference in your makeup look, I think, so I hope you guys get some tips from this, and if you guys have any requests or like any questions about my eyebrows or anything, just ask me below, and I will be so happy to help. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and let's get into the tutorial. Alrighty, so these are just my eyebrows with nothing on them. And what I'm going to do is just groom them a little bit. I don't do this every single day, I only do it when it is starting to, like the little hairs are coming up. So what I do is, this is basically my natural shape that I follow. I don't really like create one. So all I ever do is get everything that's left on right here. And this eyebrow is like weirder than this one. I know they are not the same. They are sisters, not twins. But on this side, I don't know, like the hair always grows more on this side than on this side. I don't know. It is weird. And this one is always a little bit different shaped than this one but I think they do look good love him so I'm just going to both groom on both sides and then I'm going to be back okay so I am back and I just groomed them they are not perfect but I'm not gonna worry about that right now but the two products I'm going to be using in this video is the dip brow from Anastasia in the color Auburn and I use this to sort of match my hair since I dye it red so I just use this and I also use the Anastasia 20 is it 20? yes 20 brush and it just has a little spoolie and then a nice brush that I really love at the end the other product I do use is also from Anastasia, which is just, the label is off, but it's just this um, brow gel that's the color. It's also an Auburn, oh, the tinted brow gel. It's also in the color Auburn. I love this stuff, as you can see. I do use this. It's just like this. I use this when I don't really want to use the dip brow and I'm kind of in a hurry. This is like my go-to fast look because you could just brush it on quickly. My other thing that I do with the dip brow is not that much more time, but this is when I'm just like I don't really care if I'm precise. I just want to get some brows on. So I love using this as well. But for the sake of the video, I am going to be using my dip brow. And so the first thing that I do is I just go ahead and brush it out. Just like that. And I'm going to take a little bit amount of that dip brow. And I don't really like to start off with that much. I kind of like to build my weight. And I sort of start right here. Because the trick that I learned is you want this part to be lighter and you want it to go sort of like an ombre. So you want this lower part right here to be the darkest. So I always sort of start in the middle just in case I get too much on my brush. I don't have to really worry about it. So I just kind of do that and I like to follow my shape the whole way. And I just got a little bit more and I'm going to do the same thing at the top and really just sort of like, I mostly just drag it, 
drag it and then I put all of my power into the bottom and don't worry if it's messy I'm just sort of used to always going like that and cleaning it off which I shouldn't okay so I'm just going to now fill in the bottom I mean the inside and now I'm going to go to the front and sort of start using that leftover product and then I'm going to get my brush and move it up like this to sort of fill it in with that. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and brush through again. And now I'm just going to take a little bit more and just sort of fill it in a little bit more. Again, put a little bit of product in here, the leftover, and then brush it out. And that is basically all that I do for my brows unless I'm sort of feeling more like darkening it So this is a before and this is an after. You can see how gorgeous it looks already and I am just going to go ahead and do the other side. Now that I have put on both of my brows, I am just going to get my concealer which I use the Boing Concealer in 01 and also my Sigma Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to outline my brows to sort of clean them up and just to make them stand out even more. I've noticed that this makes a big difference. Before I would not do this step and I noticed that it really like makes them stand out and it cleans them up a bit, especially if you mess up a lot. And now I'm just going to set them in place so they don't move all day. But I don't even know what's up with this brow. No matter what, guys, she always moves around. So, yeah, I'm just going to be using the Great Lash from Maybelline in the clear just to set them up. I do like this. The only thing I don't like is it takes forever to dry. Like, you guys will see that it is just, like, super wet. And I do recommend the Anastasia clear brow gel. I had that one for a while and I swear it felt like hairspray on my eye, on my eyebrows. Like they did not move at all. Like not even really. This one really moved at all with that one. I loved it. But it is like super expensive so I'm kind of like, I don't know, should I splurge on it? Whatever. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. But I'm just going to set this and then I will be back at the end of this video. guys so that's all for my eyebrow routine and I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe so I'll see you guys next time bye